Hello and welcome back to the studio. I realized it's the end of the vlog and I haven't updated you guys on anything. So now we are on day 11. I'm getting ready to post the painting for today. Um, so this weekend was filled with lots of painting. Um, which not every weekend is like that, so I took full advantage of it. I worked on this pumpkin piece back here. I don't know if you can see it, um, but I'll be explaining more about that at the beginning of October. And yeah, I just worked on my daily paintings. So far the challenge is going well. I noticed last night when I was painting, I was starting to get a little tired um i don't think burnt out yet it's only been 11 days but since i did do so much painting this weekend i think i was just feeling that tiredness i've never stuck with a challenge this long so i am excited to keep going with it um in february i do the floral a day but when I worked on it I was doing like larger pieces well what I was doing a bunch of watercolor pieces but then when I did oils I was working on a little bit larger of a scale so I kind of if I my goal was just to work on something every day it wasn't necessarily to finish a piece every day so this challenge is a lot different. Grant, I'm working smaller, but I'm working in oils. One day, that's it. Um, so far one piece is sold, which is super exciting. Um, but that's also not really the goal of this challenge. It's so that I can work on creating a daily practice and just improving in general. Um, I did list the items for sale if somebody connects with one of the pieces and they want one of them then go for it and then I don't have to have 50 of these at the end of the challenge but yeah so I'm excited that that one is going off to a good home. One of my friends purchased it. I haven't shared every single piece over here on YouTube, but if you are interested in seeing those, post them every day over on my Instagram. So I would love if you check them out. And if you are interested in any of them, you just comment sold down in the comments. There's a squirrel out front. And I think he only comes here to torment me, but she's sleeping. So she doesn't know. <laughs> the last little update, I have several full-size paintings available in my shop if you are interested in those, including the mushroom painting, a succulent painting, and a peony painting. And then I also have several stickers, everything is in stock. And if you were wanting a print of the peony piece, I would love if you joined me over on Patreon. That is the only place a print will be available. I signed the up for the Bark Super Chewer box, so we're going to get ready and open that.
think she's gonna really like this one and this one. This is kind of feels like um, a Kong toy, but a little bit harder. And this is super cute as well. And you can put peanut butter or treats in there. So that is it for this week's video. If you guys have any suggestions on what you would like to see with this daily painting challenge, be sure to leave me a comment down below. And I would love to hear your suggestions because I have a lot of pieces still left to do. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in next week's video. Bye.